Now, the family of one of the accused in the Senzo Miyue murder trial say they desperately need him to be given bail because he's the breadwinner. Bongani and Tanzi is one of five men accused of killing Meiwe. He's the only one without a criminal record or a pending case against him. The state opposed his bail application, telling the court that Ntanzi not only confessed, but has been identified by a state witness in the commission of the crime. Slindela Masekane reports. Bongan Ndanzi has spent the past two years behind bars. He's now applying for bail and believes exceptional circumstances exist for his release. The state will know where to find the applicant. As the witness testified that day, the applicant is from Nongoma and the directions were given. Furthermore, when the applicant was arrested, he was arrested at a Work of a place of employment. He was employed by that time. We still argue that he can go and plead his case as well in that company. If they don't take him, we submit that we also have another prospect of him getting employed in order to take care of his family. The 32 year old maintains he's being framed for Mayuwa's death. Ndanzi has alleged that police tortured him to get a confession and for him to implicate his co-accused. But the state says Ndanzi may evade trial if released. When the applicant was interviewed, um, he mentioned that he was at work when the incident occurred on the 26th of October 2014. And the statement of uh, his supervisor at Sibanyan Steel Water Mines, uh, Mr. Hendrik Louis Mulder, was obtained. And Mr. Mulder refuted the, that the applicant was at work on the 26th of October 2014 when the incident occurred. And, and the question, my lord, would be why would he want to create the impression that he was at work when the deceased was killed on the 26th of October 2014 at Fosloras? Um, we submit, my lord, that that is a pointer of uh, his guilt. Ndanzi's brother, who testified on his behalf, says they're hopeful Ndanzi's application will be granted. Judgment has been reserved. Meanwhile, the trial itself is expected to resume in November with Dumelo Mazala back in the witness box for cross-examination. Slinda Lomasigan, Pretoria.